Basic Blueprint Reading, Parts of a Print, Part 2, Gary Pace, P-E-C-W-I, TexasWeldingEngineering.com. Okay, I scavenged most of these slides and whatnot out of Blueprint Reading and Sketching. It's a Navy book, NAVED TRA 10 or 14040, and Open Oregon Press Books Pub, um, blue, Basic Blueprint Reading by Rick Costin. These are both entry level documents. You can find them on the internet. You can, they're none of them, are, neither one of them is copyrighted. Poach away, because I gave you permission and that's really worth it. But anyways, from my reading, there's no copyright on any of it. So run wild. We're gonna talk about bill of materials, grid system, scale, scale measurement, notes and specifications. Okay, so for the grid system, it's a drawing on a on a print that has numbers and letters. So it allows you to have a specific point on a drawing to be referenced or found. So if I'm talking on the phone with somebody and there's a specific part of the drawing that they want me to look at or I want them to look at, I'd be like, okay, look at on drawing such and such, look at B3. There's a I don't know, there's a weld there, a weld call out for a fillet weld, and it should be a groove weld. What do you want to do with it? So this would be B3. It's just like playing Battleship when you're a kid. Well, you guys are kids, but when you're playing Battleship, it's just on a grid system, B3, A7, C6. So that's why we have a grid system, is so we can find things if we're talking to people or if we have to write a letter and say, hey, there's something wrong at, a5 can you look at this note or this weld call out or the bolting or the dimensions whatever grid system grid system numbers serve the same purpose as the numbers and letters printed on borders of maps to help you locate a particular point or part to find a point or part you should mentally draw horizontal and vertical lines from these letters and numerals these lines will intersect at the point or part you are looking at. You will use practically the same system to help you locate parts, sections, and views on large blue printed objects. For example, aircraft drawings. We're probably not going to do that. Parts numbered in the title block are found by looking up the numbers in squares along the lower border. Okay, so here's another example of a grid system. So we'd have um, B five and a half and there's a, I've got it circled in red you can see along the top I've got the the numbers outlined in blue and then the letters on the left hand side are outlined in green and then I've got that little circle I've kind of drawn the two lines a horizontal and a vertical line from the top and then from B so it gives us a a coordinate so that if I'm talking to somebody on the phone hey Look at this hole. This hole probably needs to be a different size or it needs to be moved or something. It allows us to um, talk about it and reference it and not have complete and utter confusion while trying to figure out what we're doing with the drawing. Bill of Materials. The Bill of Material block contains a list of parts and or materials needed for the project. The block identifies parts and materials by stock number or other appropriate number and lists the quantities requited. The bill of material often contains a list of standard parts known as a parts list or schedule. This figure shows a bill of material for an electrical plan. So you can see we've got the item number, we've got a description, we've got units. So it'd be when we're talking units, is it like pieces? Do we need five of these or is it? weight we need 538 pounds of chocolate chips or you know 538 pounds of dry cement or 278 feet of wire so you've got units there and then you've got the quantities and other information listed on there with your bill of materials bill of materials is a parts list here i picked one off the internet it's if you've ever built Legos, here you go. So this is a little mini X-Wing. So if we had to build one of these guys, this is all the parts that we'd need. We'd need this list of parts. 
Um, it is, uh, it's a list of materials that is used to build the item that is shown in the drawing or a sketch. So this in big people world, it's the same thing. Instead of building a mini Lego X-Wing, we might be building a, I don't know, some kind of box or some kind of frame or some kind of structural component or a bridge. All right, this is all the stuff we're going to need for it. So that's why we have a parts list or a bill of materials. Scales. Drawing scale is a relationship of the size or distance of an item on a drawing to the real item. For example, a scale of one quarter inch equals one foot means a measurement of one quarter inch on the drawing is equal to one foot of the real world item. So these are scales. So you could have, you know, a scale of one inch equals one foot or way down at the bottom we got a scale of um, one eighth of an inch equals one foot. There's a lot of different ways that you can go with this depending on um, what you're building and what, what what's under construction and these are architectural so this would be for buildings this wouldn't necessarily be engineering but this would be architectural so it'd be you know a building or a house or a garage or a bunker or whatever it is you're building that is going to have people inside of it Scale measurement. A drawing of an object may be the same size as the object, full size, or it may be larger or smaller than the object. In most cases, if it is not drawn full size, the drawing is made smaller than the object. This is done primarily for the convenience of the user of the drawing. After all, who wants to carry around a full size drawing of a locomotive? Obviously, with an object as small as a wristwatch, it would be necessary to draw to the bigger scale. A machine part, for example, may be half the size. One half inch equals an inch. A building may draw be drawn at one forty eighth one over forty eighth size. So a quarter inch equals one foot. A map may be drawn at one to two hundred size, where one inch equals a hundred feet. And a gear and a wristwatch may be ten times size. Ten inches on the drawing might be one inch in reality. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with scale just depending on what you're building. So here's uh, you know, some ways to show scales um, that you might see on a drawing depending on what kind of drawing you're looking at. Notes and specifications. Blueprints show all of the information about an object or part graphically. However, supervisors, contractors, Manufacturers, craftsmen need more information that is not adaptable to the graphic form of presentation. Such information is shown on the drawings as notes or as a set of specifications attached to the drawings. Notes are placed on drawings to give additional information to clarify the object on the blueprint. Leader lines show the precise part notated. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner where it's got notes. So it would, you know, give you information. So for us being welders, it might tell us, hey, you need to only use 7018 on this or put the root in with 6010 and 7018. Or if it's not too miserable, you can use flux core or whatever the information is that you needed. Or it might tell us to post weld heat treat something or preheat it or whatever. There's all kinds of different pieces of information that could be communicated to welders in notes and specifications and this is how they do it on drawings they'll put in a note a specification is a statement or document containing a description such as the terms of a contract or details of an object or objects not shown on a blueprint specifications describe items so they can be manufactured assembled and maintained according to their performance requirements they furnish enough information to show that the item conforms to the description and that it can be made with the ne with, without the need for research, development, design, engineering, or other help from preparing organizations. So here, this is probably a little bit outside the scope of what we're going to do, but specifications. Um, this is specifications for geofabric filter, whatever that is. It has something to do with um, dirt work. But it gives you all the specifications for that um, geofabric filter okay this geofabric filter needs to um, 
have, fill, fill these specifications. All right, we covered bill of material, grid system scales, scales of measurements, and notes and specifications. If you have any questions, launch me a uh, question or a message on either the school email and or um, the Schoology messaging app and uh, ask the questions, and we'll see what happens. All right, take care. GP out.